herding mice into a herringbone milking shed. Sounds like a dairy farmer's nightmare, doesn't it? This model milking shed is part of a display at the State Research Farm at Werribee. Visitors to the recent open day were able to see mice being milked by miniature machines in the laboratory. Why milk mice, you probably ask? In mice, both leukaemia and mammary cancer are similar to cancer in humans. The National Cancer Institute in the United States uses large quantities of the cancer virus from mice in its research. The virus is present in the milk. The mouse milking machine at Werribee was developed by research officer Graham Mean for display at the farm's open day. It's similar to machines used by the National Cancer Institute. Dairy cows and mice don't have the field of mechanical milking to themselves. Many other species of animal, including humans, have been milked by machines for commercial, experimental or medical purposes. Before milking can begin, you must, of course, first catch your mouse. The success of milking depends on the injection of the hormone oxytocin to produce milk letdown. The mouse is laid on its back and then leg roped into a special plastic holder. A neck yoke is put on to hold the mouse firmly but gently. An experienced operator can place a mouse in a holder in less than a minute. The milk flow is stimulated when the ten nipples are rubbed with a swab stick containing sterile saline solution. The holder containing the mouse is then clipped vertically into the bale. Each teat cup is moulded from silicone rubber and mounted on a movable spring-loaded arm. The machine operates at a vacuum level of four inches of mercury. Higher vacuum levels tend to damage the delicate tissues of the teats. Although a mouse has ten teats, the milking machine has only eight teat cups. The teats are often too close together to apply ten teat cups at the same time. Different milking out times enable cups to be transferred to unmilked teats. Pulsation is not necessary for milking mice. A small amount of air leaks into the teat cup, allowing easier and cleaner milking out. A mouse can be milked once and often twice a day for five to seven days. Each mouse takes about 15 minutes to milk. The average yield at a milking has been a third of a teaspoonful per mouse. Even with this milking machine, the throughput is only four mice per man hour. Not very fast by modern herringbone standards, but much better than the earlier single teat cup method, which took one man hour per mouse.